South Carolina, the birthplace of barbecue. Find your happy plate at discoversouthcarolina.com. Now, it's time for this week's fun day, sights and sounds of game day. Are you ready for Carolina football? Today, the Gamecocks are on the road in Orlando. Orlando in the Central Florida area is known as a destination spot. But the Gamecocks travel today with their 2-1 and one record with only business on their mind. It's Carolina versus Central Florida. Ball sweep, left side. Johnson cutting back, diving for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, UCF. Braces back into the backfield. Going to roll right with the option. Now cutting back. Connor got some room. Connor fumbles the football. A scramble for the flag down on the play around the UCF 37. They say it's a night football. Connor running. Connor getting up slow, by the way. Bouncing left side. Mike turning it. Mike turning inside the 40. Mike trying to run away at the 20. Mike Davis at the 10. 5. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Mike Davis. Get the ball in his hands. That one goes 53 yards. Got to drop back. Here comes Clowney. Clowney gets him. Bortles steps away. Bortles finally hit behind the line of scrimmage. Mike Davis hit off left side. Mike bouncing inside the 10. Stiff arm. Cuts at the 5. Going for it. Got it. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Mike Davis from 14 yards out. Pure instincts. And he's into the end zone. Steps back on a second down about three yards. Quarterback draw right side. Ball pops out. Portal scrambling for it around the 30. He jumps down on it. And Dixon goes for it as well. They're going to call it a game duck football. He took, it away. he took it away from Bortles. He took it away from him. Thompson left side. Davis inside the 10. Five. Lifts the legs. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Mike Davis, 14 yards out, his third on the day. He's taken this team and put him on his shoulders. Double team of Clowney. Bortles wants to throw it down the field, into coverage, picked off. That's T.J. Holloman running down the near sideline to the 19. Bortles throws his head back and can't believe it. Gamecocks win it. What a strange game. They trailed by 10, scored 28 unanswered, and then had the Knights roar back, but they couldn't get more than within three. It's 28, 25. Hey, Gamecock fans, go to Walgreens to get your flu shot. Available now. Here's your hot and ready pizza. I'm calling. No waiting. There's no rules! There's one rule! Pick up a large, hot and ready pepperoni pizza for $5. Only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Watch out! Oh my goodness! See you later! Oh no, he didn't! Down the sideline! Bringing the ruckus! Oh! Making him look silly! Uh-oh! Adios, muchachos! Sorry, I got a little carried away there. The 429 horsepower Genesis R-Spec from Hyundai. Hot sauce! Generations of scholars have walked along these bricks. Educators, innovators, doctors, entrepreneurs. Leaders who have called the University of South Carolina home. Leaders who strive to shake our state and our world. As Gamecocks, our leadership has no limits. 
It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use your PS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 I love logistics. Deranged clown lurks in these woods. I heard Little Caesars has pizza for five bucks. You heard right! <laughs> Get a hot and ready pepperoni pizza for five dollars or a three meat treat for eight at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Don't miss Carolina Calls with head coach Steve Spurrier at Wild Wing Cafe in the Vista every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Be sure to visit all Wild Wing Cafe locations throughout the state. The Steve Spurrier Show is brought to you by South Carolina, the birthplace of barbecue. Find your happy plate at discoversouthcarolina.com. Jimmy Legree, defensive back, senior, St. Helena Island, South Carolina. Jimmy Legree with an interception in the end zone. I first started playing in seventh grade, uh, Ladies Island Middle School. The only reason I started playing, honestly, was because of my brother. When I was in sixth grade, he was in eighth grade, and I was a football manager. And I was always cool with all of his friends, and I just thought it was fun. But um, when I got to seventh grade, I tried out. I enjoyed it and went on from there. I started taking it serious my sophomore year in high school. Um, that was my first year in varsity. I had a coach, uh, Coach Pierce. Um, he was always, like, mentally, really, and uh, he helped me out a lot and asked me what do I want to do in life, and I told him um, I enjoy playing sports, and he was like, well, you start taking it more serious, so I did from there on. I wanted to come to South Carolina because it's close to home. Um, my family can travel to all the games. Uh, playing for Cosperio would be fun. He's like a legend, so I wouldn't mind playing for him. He's a great coach. Um, he likes to have fun, but he also likes to win. And uh, in football, that's what everybody likes to do is win. The way he coaches, he coaches winners, so I want to be a part of that. I would say a good friend was Akeem Augusti. He was like a mentor since I've been here. Uh, when I came on my official visit, he was always around. And when I got here, he looked at me like a little brother and walked me through everything. So, yeah, me and Akeem pretty close. So hopefully I do get a chance to play in the NFL, but, um, you know, it's never promised. So uh, I got my degree already, and um throwing up movies up north or out west somewhere and work with kids who um, come from bad backgrounds who don't really have the opportunity to succeed in life. I want to give them that chance. But I feel like life is too short to be anything but happy. So if something makes you mad, then I'm going to be in your life. And one of the most important things I've learned is that I've never given up. Like I always kept pushing for what I want. I know how to handle adversity. Everybody goes through it and I overcame probably the worst adversity that anybody can go through. I know that I'm a strong person. I have a good heart, and I try to make everybody around me similar to me. Fans, purchase two select tailgating items with your buy low bonus card, and you're automatically entered to win a tailgating prize package, including tickets and a pregame party to the next Gamecocks football game. Only at your neighborhood buy low. Proud supporter of Gamecocks football. Last year, TD Bank donated $7,500 to the Special Olympics of South Carolina for every touchdown the Gamecocks scored. This year, every time South Carolina scores a touchdown, TD Bank will again make a donation to a local charity. As you pull for the Gamecocks to score another touchdown, remember that TD Bank is working to make a difference in South Carolina. It's time to get back to nature, a place where families roam free and imaginations run wild. A place of stargazers and campfires, of kings and castles, fishtails and fireworks. Whoa! 
Welcome to South Carolina's 47 state parks. It's the adventures you're looking for and the memories you'll never forget. Explore South Carolina state parks and discover why South Carolina is just right. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Win this pregame warm-up from the sidelines. Winners receive two game tickets. Pre-game field passes and autographed merchandise. Visit USCContest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Hey, get it back! Come back when we have a team. Okay. This week's Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week is Demir Bird from the football team. Demir is a junior sport management major with a 3.55 watt GPA. This week's Academic Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Colonial Life, making benefits count. Handoff, Davis bouncing left side, Mike turning it, Mike turning inside the 40, Mike trying to run away at the 20, Mike Davis at the 10, 5, touchdown Carolina, touchdown Mike Davis. That's our Sandsbury Eye Center, did you see that play? Boy, the Gamecocks opened up the second half with a 53-yard run from Mike Davis. Coach, that's his fourth touchdown of his career of more than 50 yards and certainly set the tone for the second half. <laughs> it worked out on, you know, when you get shut out in half, you're wondering, can we score against these guys? And we came in and said, let's, let's run straight at them, this, that, and the other. And we run straight at them, and Mike Davis goes 53 yards for a touchdown. A big play in the game, one of the biggest plays. Yeah. Mike ended up with 167 yards, all of them career highs for him, in touches and in rushing yards. And our Terminex best player of the game is fullback, the guy who unleashed him a lot, and that's McLaurin, Coach. What a great job he's done springing in Mike Davis and Brandon Wilds. I tell you, this is one of the first times Connor McLaren had a chance to win the game for us as a fullback, blocking those linebackers on the lead play that sprawled Mike Davis on all them fronts. And Connor did a super job today, so he's worthy of this honor. Yeah, Terminex best player of the game, Connor McLaurin, thank you and congratulations. And now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. This is the home of Gamecock football. This will be the home for Carolina's 270,000 living alumni. This is where historic seasons are built. This is where an impressive network of alumni is. Saturdays in the fall mean Gamecock football. No matter the season, your Alumni Center has something for you. This is your home. Find out how to support this exciting project at mycarolina.org slash Alumni Center. The Steve Spurrier Show is brought to you by South Carolina, the birthplace of barbecue. Find your happy plate at discoversouthcarolina.com. Hey, get it back! Come back when we have a team. Okay. Touch or tackle? Gather your team. The new seven passengers have a fact. As a Gamecock, Marcus Lattimore gained more than 2,000 yards, scored 38 touchdowns, and rarely turned the ball over. Okay, so how'd you do it, Marcus? I protect the world's most important. You probably say I play responsibly. I would. The same way I urge our players to play our games. Remember, winning means keeping your priorities straight. So have fun, stay in bounds, and always play responsibly. 
something's not right. My first symptoms were constant tingling in my toes. My legs. Sometimes I'll go numb. A double vision. They said you have multiple sclerosis. Well, the beginning is the hardest time. Kind of had to get a grasp on reality. I had to adapt and change very rapidly. I had to learn how to drive with my hands. Yeah, that was interesting. I was a dancer. I don't see walking the way I walk any different than doing a dance. It just looks different. It's a different dance. You see me have an off day. It doesn't take away from who I am. The symptom may cause you not to be able to do that anymore. And at one point, I wasn't able to do any of this. But I would exercise every day. Since I've been cycling, it's definitely helped my walking. To make a lot of changes in my life and just adapt to it. I'm going to acknowledge its presence. I'm not going to discount it. But at the same time, I'm going to try my best to not let it stop me. It's a fantastic opportunity to be working together with a common goal of carrying MS. And sharing is the key. Spurrier Show is brought to you by South Carolina, the birthplace of barbecue. Find your happy plate and discover SouthCarolina.com. Closed captioning for the Steve Spurrier Show is provided by Midland Hearing Associates, your winning team in hearing health care. The Steve Spurrier Show is brought to you by Britons, the official clothier of Coach Steve Spurrier and Todd Ellis. By Coke Zero, enjoy everything. By Ford. Boost your yardage when you drive a Ford with EcoBoost. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. By Bojangles, the official chicken and biscuits of williams Bryce Stadium. By Hyundai, college football fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Hyundai fans just buy another Hyundai. And by Wild Wing Cafe. Wild Wing, I think I love you. The Steve Spurrier Show is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. They've got to go to three and one on the season and get back, get your first road win, Coach, which is always important. And now you come back to Williams Price Stadium. The Kentucky Wildcats are coming into town, and you've done well in this series, 12 of the last 13, but it's an SEC East division game. Yeah, Kentucky's a team that uh, got new coach, struggled a little bit, but they'll play hard, they'll play tough. And, and if we don't play a little smarter, we could be in trouble against them. We'll be favored a couple of touchdowns probably. But they're a good team with a bunch of good coaches. Coach, the keys to the game brought to you by Southeast Toyota. You've got some injured players now, and I, I should get, got to get them healthy. What do you think about against the Wildcats, what you need to do to ensure a win at home? Well, most of our guys are healthy. Uh, you know, Connor's not going to play, Connor Shaw, and uh, Della's ready to go. Brandon Wild. And Brandon's play. out. Yeah. And other than that, we're, we're pretty healthy, so we're mm -hmm. ready to go. And uh, But the biggest thing we have to do, we got to coach better, Todd. <laughs> Me, including. Uh, we 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 got 18 point lead. We can't let the other team get back in the game. We did it against Vanderbilt. We're 28 nothing, and we let the team get back in the game. So we got to quit that crap if we're going to be a good team this year. Kickoff is at 7:38. A sellout. Congratulations to everybody at yeah. the university for doing that as well. Make sure you get out. Yeah, there. thanks to the Gamecock fans, and we had about three or four thousand down here in Orlando that. last night. So uh, we appreciate the. Gamecocks coming out. Gamecocks did a great job supporting that as well, in an area that you recruit a lot in. So Connor Shaw out with a shoulder sprain, at least for the moment. Brandon Wild probably a more serious elbow injury. And Cody Waldrop with the uh, ankle sprain. That's our coming to help injury report. For Steve Spurrier and all our crew here on the Steve Spurrier Television Show, we appreciate you. We'll see you after the Kentucky game.